up guys welcome back to the channel um, if you're new to the channel I'm trip HP junkie uh, you can check me out on Instagram it's, it's trip T R I P P underscore HP junkie and what we do on this channel is anything Harley Davidson related basically um, don't mess with anything else don't like anything else to be honest with you so um, if you're into that sort of stuff hit up purpose built Dot com use discount code trip HP all caps at checkout and they'll give you a little discount over there those dudes that run that business are awesome guys and been supporting me since day one so today on the channel uh, what I wanted to do was a little uh, 1,000 mile review of the crater t-sport fairing and what it is is an exact copy of the t-sport fairing that came on 01 to 03 Dinas, I believe with the T, it's the FXDXT at the end of the designation. But yeah, it's a direct copy of that. Um, you can get that on Amazon for right at 90 bucks shipped prime. You will need a headlight block. Um, the one I like is from Moon's MC. It makes the headlight sit directly in the fairing properly uh, when you mount it properly once again on the, the bottom of the riser bolts i do have an install video i'll put it up here in the in the top somewhere but but yeah what what i've found and and a lot of people have found is is the moon's mc headlight bracket is actually the best it, it, it centers the headlight in the middle it's not poking out funny it looks good um yeah that's the best one that that i've found they're right at 50 bucks so all said and done you're right at you know 100 uh, 40 130 bucks for a fairing and 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 mount her up um, one thing that is big on these fairings though is the buffering and basically it's just the on and off pressure of the wind it's not hitting you directly in the face like you know wind coming straight wood when you when you stick that fairing in front of your face it actually slows down the wind and it's kind of it's on and off is what it feels like the best way I can explain it someone who hasn't experienced it it's it's buffering um, but what it is is what i found you can get these anti-buffering kits like the one i have from jd customs spaces the windshield out a little bit but what i've found is is actually that flip that's that that's on the uh, windshield at the top on all of these come with a 15 inch uh, windscreen tall so uh, that little flip is actually what does it it seems like if, if you can find one from some other companies out there uh you know that's flat and doesn't have that little lip at the bottom or at the top of it uh yeah that's that's the way to go so um and it all depends on helmets too the your helmet choice will actually how you wear your helmet where the wind's hitting the helmet and a lot of that comes into play it's it's not just the fairing that's that's buffering you know it's your head it's you know the way you're sitting on the bike what type of seat you have and all that stuff so you need to try what combinations work best for your motorcycle so um the windshields that do come on these are like i said 15 inches tall um, they are garbage really you can't see through them they're really blurry um seeing through them so you want to see on top of them so yeah if you're not i'm six foot tall i can see over the top of them just fine so it seems to work for me pretty good um, but other than that I think that's it man uh it's it's a really quality fairing for what it is if you have a black bike a vivid back bike it matches the paint perfectly um yeah it doesn't chip easy and the hardware is pretty good on them uh, from what i've found is is if you over tighten the the mounting bolts and stuff like that some of the rubber can the o-rings and the bushings that they send with them so, some of them can crack um can I haven't run to the hardware store and tried some other some bushings but uh, for the most part we're good at a thousand miles no cracking on the windshield or nothing like that uh, it's been a really good fairing man I, I was I was gonna originally test it out and then take it right back off but it's it's so versatile man it works it looks good on these bikes I believe and yeah yeah that's great so hopefully um, you enjoy this channel hopefully you enjoy the content and we'll keep these videos weekly like we've been doing this is kind of the first little review video i've i've tried to do on the uh on anything really so 
Uh, the crater fairings are nice. I, I, I do approve them. I would buy them again. And, you know, for the money, they can't be beat compared to what's out there. So, appreciate the support, guys. Take it easy. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.